Maybe you've already heard the news, but at Gamescom, which is going on as we speak, Samsung has come out and announced that they're going to be releasing not one, but two glasses-free 3D gaming monitors by the end of the year. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at all the details that we have related to those glasses-free 3D gaming monitors. And then after that, I'm going to show you on this laptop right here what exactly that could look like gaming in glasses free 3d in 4k resolution it might be hard to wrap your mind around if you have never experienced it before but thankfully i have a 4k glasses free 3d gaming laptop with a 15 inch display that we can take a look at directly so you can see what this technology is actually going to look and feel like once these monitors actually become available let's dive right into the details but before that if you didn't know about these 3d monitors and you weren't aware that glasses free 3d is making a huge comeback then i would suggest that you subscribe to this channel right now so that you're not completely lost as to what's going on with all the crazy developments related to 3D displays, including TVs, laptops, smartphones, and everything. The information that has been unveiled so far is limited, but what we do know is that these are the same monitors that were shown off during CES earlier in the year that blew a lot of people's minds with the incredible glasses free 3D quality of the gaming experience display. They are called the Odyssey 3D monitor series. That they're going to be available in two sizes, 27 inches and a 37 inch glasses free 3D 4K monitor. In addition to the 4K display, they also have a one millisecond response time, high refresh rate at 165 Hertz, which is used in combination with head tracking to ensure that you're able to have a 3D gaming experience without wearing any glasses and move around and still be able to enjoy a stable 3D image regardless of where you're positioning your head or your body as you're playing the game. It also comes with a height adjustment stand, tilt capabilities, FreeSync Premium to make sure that you don't get any tearing or any distortion during your gaming sessions, one display port, and two HDMI ports. And that's really all the information that we have so far, but what I can say is that it's likely going to be on the same level or a very similar level to what we've seen with other really high quality 3D 4K gaming monitors or monitors that have been released over the past year or two. That includes from Lenovo and Acer, the laptop displays that were shown off by Asus at last year's CES. But I just want to pause here and ask you all a question, especially if you're new to this channel. What is the first thing you think of when you hear people say glasses free 3D or 3D TVs or 3D monitors and laptops in general? If one of the first words that comes to your mind is gimmicky or a fad that died 10 years ago and that sort of thing, I would extra encourage you to subscribe to this channel and follow everything that's going on with 3D devices and the types of experiences that are actually available and why it's not so limited anymore in terms of all the content and things that you can enjoy because I think there's a very very good chance it's going to change your perception of what glasses free 3D is today and what it's going to be just within the next five years. To finish off the video let's take a look at what glasses free 3D gaming actually looks like in 4K on this 15 inch laptop display. There are a ton of AAA titles available on this right now. I'm just going to randomly pick one. I'll go with Jedi The Fallen Order. So I've loaded up Jedi Fallen Order, which is a game from a few years ago that has pretty good graphics. And this one is available in glasses free 3D on this laptop. You can see the screen's kind of flickering because it's meant for you to look at it and it'll track your eyes and track your head position at the same time to offer a really stable 4K glasses free 3D image. And I'm literally gaming in 3D. So this is a triple A title that I'm playing in 3D without any glasses and there's actual depth and pop out to this whole experience. It just feels so much more immersive than what you can get with regular 2D gaming. And this is crazy to think about because it's like taking the Nintendo 3DS and increasing the resolution by an incredible amount and then making the screen much bigger much more clear, vivid, bright, and then the image in 3D so much more stable that it offers this super immersive experience. Basically what it looks like is like the game is happening within the display. It's not the same feeling you get when you're gaming in 2D because you're very aware that there's a display in front of you, but when you're gaming like this, it's like the display melts away and then you're viewing kind of like through a portal or a window and there's actual depth so it looks like everything that's happening is going on back here behind the laptop screen but it doesn't feel weird it feels natural and smooth and just incredibly cool and then the great thing about this technology is that there's a lot of settings that you can seamlessly change on these Acer laptops at least where you can increase the amount of depth or increase the amount of pop out just with a quick shortcut and I'm guessing that Samsung is going to definitely be offering the same types of options for people to adjust the level of 3D 
strength or the 3D effect to their own preferences. The default setting on this is just set to be comfortable by as wide ranging an audience as possible. So it's actually set fairly low and you can easily go, you can increase the amount of pop out which will bring everything closer to you. I mean everything that's close to the screen will start to come out of it and then increase the depth. Right now it's at 30% but I could push this all the way up to 80 plus percent and now all of a sudden everything in the background is much further away. And the coolest thing about this is that it's so smooth and comfortable in 3D that it doesn't feel uncomfortable on your eyes or give you any eye strain or any discomfort really. Even if you're someone who is potentially prone to that type of thing, the settings and the flexibility combined with just how smooth the whole experience is makes it a pretty safe bet that you can tweak this really quickly to find the right balance for the 3D strength that matches your own preferences and game style. So I just pull up this menu and like this hologram here is floating off the screen and it's so smooth and seamless that it feels completely natural. Like It's hard to get used to this feeling but once you experience it over and over again you sort of start to accept it, but that still doesn't mean it's not incredibly cool. This is what I'm expecting Samsung to offer in potentially an even more incredible way when they release their monitors. I know they showed off some gaming demos back in CES, and maybe even they're doing that at Gamescom too, and since they're calling these gaming monitors, 3D gaming monitors, they must have something up their sleeve in terms of how they're planning to deliver games in 3D to people once they start purchasing these monitors. Acer is handling that on their end with support for 144 titles and more, indie and AAA alike, on this glasses free 3D laptop. The Samsung must be planning similar things so that people who buy that monitor are actually going to have a native 3D display experience available to play all of the latest and coolest games available, which I can already verify is a mind-blowing experience. Anyone who says otherwise has just not sat down and experienced it for long enough or hasn't really had the opportunity at all. If you enjoyed this video and found it eye-opening or informative, definitely like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching and I will be covering more things like this in the weeks to come as information becomes available. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.